you, you know, you've done an awful lot of commercial work, and I'm sure that's how the American public, public first became aware of you. And uh, do you always get your lines straight? Because I've been, that's difficult for me, and I'm... No, I've not always got my lines straight. You have some problems, don't you? Yeah, but I, sometimes if I, once when I did my Aubrey Snow commercial, I was four and a half, that was three years ago. I was four and a half, and... <laughs> don't go ahead. I'm just nodding. There's nobody working my head with a string or anything. I'm just nodding, Mason. Go ahead, you were four and a half. I was four and a half when I did my Ivory Snow commercial, and my mother always almost fainted because it was two pages long. And you know, then I didn't know how to read that well, but I read it about 10 minutes flat. What was it, a 30 second commercial or a one minute? I think it was a 30 second one. And it only took you 10 minutes, that's pretty good. <laughs> No, <laughs> it took me 10 minutes to read it. I see, but you did it over and over again, didn't you? You, did, you take many, many takes? Yeah, it took about 10 minutes to do the whole thing. I see. No, actually it took me about all the three of them. For all three it took me about... <laughs> I'd say about eight hours. Why is it, Mason, when people are trying to think of an answer, they invariably look up like this? Is it pasted on the ceiling or something, or are they looking up there for help from the man upstairs? Why did you do this? It took me about, and you looked up. I don't know. <laughs> I see. Just we for inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up. It's not too inspiring. I want to, uh, we have some, what, and sometimes these things turn out better than the shows and the commercials themselves, what they call in the business outtakes. And we have some great moments from your commercials where you were having... I guess a problem or two, and maybe look at them. <laughs> what are you doing? If I blow up before this show's over, Mason, can You're we let's to get your money? Oh, I'm <laughs> you have none, do you? No. Yeah, I have a couple of dollars in my pocket. I carry. That's about it. But let's look at these moments, and you can tell us about them after we see them. Okay. Uh, Where you want? Ready? Action. Today's high prices. It's a lot less bags to carry in. And we get lots more on the wood. Cut. Action. There's two good things about today's high prices. There's a lot less bags to carry in. And we get lots more on the wood meat spreads. Cut. Action. There's two good things about today's high prices. There's a lot less bags to carry in. And the. Cut. Action. There's two good things about today's high prices. There's a lot less bags to carry in. But <laughs> action. And we get lots more than with double tam. Know why? Oop. Okay, try it again. Try it again. Don't mess. <laughs> Wait, the take. Wait. I, I thought there was supposed to be a little... <laughs> or you can mix lots of things with Dunwood and still give your family meat and save money. Harry, what do you do? Cut. Sound 100. <laughs> Ready? Action. There's plenty of it in the supermarket. Yeah? Hey, don't do that! <laughs> 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 oh, that's marvelous. That's marvelous. Who's that lady who did that? Um, the lady who, who came up behind you, who was that? And you said, hey, don't do that. I don't know her name, but she does a tea commercial. Oh. Who uh, is that? I don't know. <laughs> but, but we don't take notice of things like that because she, she may has to have to go make a phone call or something, that lady. <laughs> This, you want to read that? Can you make it? I read it. 